Hello booktube, it's Louise the Big Head Bookworm, lovely to see you, hope you're well, hope you're having a good day wherever it is you are and whatever it is you're doing. Hello, this is the third or fourth time I've recorded this beginning and each time I've just talked about the heat <laughs> and how warm it is here and how if you're watching any YouTube videos that are coming out of this country at the moment it will be mainly about how, how warm it is and how unsuited to warm weather as a country we are. I quite like it hot. I do like it hot. Most people I know like it spring or autumn. They like weather that you can put a layer on and then take it off in the sun and then put it back on and they're like cool nights. I do agree. I, I, uh, hot nights, not good. And we are experiencing them a lot. As I'm a menopausal woman, I'm a woman of an age. Um, I can't regulate my heat very well. So I am less keen on heat and we have had our first red warning. Ooh for next week so that's not going to be good so any video coming out of this aisle for the next four days be prepared to watch British people obsess about how warm it is you can tell how warm it is actually because of how much hair I have just kind of it just it's just gone even this is quite restrained for how big it has got recently hence the name of the channel um, so I am here with a slightly different video I have got two books to show you that I've been enjoying um, and then I've got a big box of stuff to go through but it's not books but well, I thought you might be interested in it because I like to watch these videos and you know we all know that I'm obsessed with washing it has been amazing hanging out pegging out weather Oh my word. So the other day I pegged out at four o'clock in the afternoon. Now normally that's risky. I mean I wouldn't ever advise people to hang out at four o'clock in the afternoon. That seems to me to be foolish. Especially in our back garden because we don't actually get the sun on that side on where the the clothes the clothes line the clothes line is. It's not really a line, it's kind of a whirly gig thing where the whirly gig is uh, after four but you know I would never advise if anybody came to me and said when would you say is the optimum time for hanging out well I would say if you could get your line your first load out by half nine ten o'clock then you've got a good potential of a good two full loads bone dry by the end of the day which you know maybe a third load if you can rotate I mean that would be that would be peak that would be amazing in a day but I think a good two loads if you started at 10 at the moment as I said I put it out on four you and I I thought to myself when I hung, hung it out I thought this is risky I am dicing here I could I could be I could be ruining the day I could be ruining the day that I had decided to hang out this washing at this time anyway I hung it out at four o'clock Quarter past five, I was bringing it in. No! No word of a lie! And as I was hanging out that load, the load that I'd hung out like only an hour and a half earlier, I was bringing back in because it was bone dry. Fabulous drying weather. So, as we know, I love that. So I love all kind of cleaning products and kind of wash products and that kind of stuff. So, I have a haul for you with this box this particular company now it's not sponsored and I have had a bit of a sorry time trying to get this box but I'll tell you about it in a moment but I'll tell you I'll just show you the box <laughs> it's huge for me it's huge that's because it adds an offer on it <laughs> anyway let me show you first of all these two books that I am loving and I should wipe you down because you've been sat by the side of my bed so you got a bit mucky so Dorling Kinsley as a publisher I really like so they do some brilliant can I have I got any of them here have I got any Dorling Kinsley right here well actually I have a Mary Berry Dorling Kinsley cookbook but this is really old so these kind of big books so this is a DK Dorling Kinsley as a publisher do these gorgeous reference books and they do all sorts of reference books and we've got loads of them am i going to get you back in there or is this going to be tricky yeah it's going to be tricky 
and now I've got Medelia book and I've got to put Medelia book back in. Okay, okay. Right, so they do those kind of books and they do some really beautiful travel books. I love the Dawn and Kinsley eyewitness guides. I really like those. I like the rough guides as well and the insight guides. Um, but I would say I probably always, I do like the Dawn and Kinsley ones because I like the way they're laid out and I like the kind of explanatory. Gosh, I don't think I've actually got any in here. I think they might be in the other room. One moment. Any behind me? Is it you, Darling Kinsley? No, I can't remember where they are. Anyway, that's not what I came here to say. So, Darling Kinsley, I really like their guide. Now, we're in the other room. There's a book that the lad has, and he actually chose it, and it's called The Politics Book. And it is a big reference guide about politics, and it talks about political thought and political ideology and explains um, about our constitution that we have well we don't have you know we have a monarchy and what the um how our political structure is um established how it was established and how it's developed over the years and, and how it you know how it works with the monarch and the two houses and it's brilliant and the boy has read it from cover to cover and he said to me the other day that is my book by the way and i was like yes i know even if it's in the lounge I was looking at it the other day because I was thinking I really want to get a book that talks about psychology and I'm interested in like um, behavioural psychology and I've read The Psychopath's Test and I've read books about psychology or featured psychological ideology and ideas and thoughts but I wanted something that gave me a bit of an overview of everything and so that I could get more of an understanding of where in psychology I'm interested to to just read for no other reason, reason other than for pleasure, just to kind of enjoy what I'm reading. So I thought, I wonder whether they have a The Psychology Book. So I went on the Dorling Kinsley, Dorling Kinsley website. Highly recommend, if you like a good reference book, I highly recommend a little browse through that website rather than looking at a wholesaler or a bookshop website, actually going to the publisher meant that I could really narrow down what they had because I knew that I wanted this book. I wanted this. I wanted big ideas, simply explained. It's a lovely hardback. Now this is 19.99. I and it, I don't think I could order direct or from that website. They get, had links, and so I did order from somewhere else. So I didn't pay 19.99. But it would be worth it because it is gorgeous. So it's just play back, play book, and then it's got lovely introduction, really beautifully laid out. Um, timelines and then it's like a double page or a single page on most ideas and it's really broken down beautifully into all the different concepts and for example I really wanted to read about Maslow's so Mas Maslow here we go. hierarchy of needs so who are you if you're not you're not thinking about Maslow and his hierarchy of needs? So this is something that in group dynamics it's really important to know about. Maslow's is one of the things that in group dynamics they talk about is Maslow's hierarchy of, of needs. There he is, Abraham Maslow, there he is. And that's his hierarchy of needs, and it really explained it. It reminded me about it, so I was I was reading about it. I was like, yeah, I do remember that. I remember that kind of stuff. And it breaks it down into um, chunks. So developmental psychology, psychology of difference, which is like things like the psychopath test, and social social psychology, how we interact in society, cognitive psychology, which I'm really fascinated in, how the brain works. And that kind of stuff. So, yeah, so it's a really good book. So I recommend that, you know, if you're interested in wanting to know, I think if you want to have a kind of a dive into a subject, but you don't want to get overwhelmed, or you, you don't know where about in the subject you're interested in reading, and you want to, to find out more, these books are great and not sponsored. I'd love to be, but no. And they have about 20 different ones. There's an art 
one, there's a history one, there's a space one, there's a science one, and there is a crime one. <laughs> well, I had to. It would have been wrong. You know me. You would have you would have been cross. You would have been cross too if I hadn't got it. This is actually embossed. Why they do that? I preferred it the other way where it had it there. But yeah. When I actually first started going through this, I was a little bit like, oh, because of course I read so much true crime and I was expecting to know all about it. I was like, ah, oh. but of course crime is so much more than just the kind of serial killers, isn't it? So it has got things like white collar crime and organised crime and con artists and kidnapping and it's the murder cases I'm really, I'm really interested in. I'm not that interested in things like con artists, but... I'm going to give them a go. I thought the white collar crimes might be really fascinating. Oops, wrong way. That one. White collar crimes. I thought that might be really fascinating. Um, so the Enron scandal and things like that. And stuff that I kind of do know about, but it would be interesting to know more. That Ponzi as well. So like a Ponzi scheme. And then it's serial killers and assassinations and political plots. So... I'm going to dip into that. So I'm going to dip into that. I don't think either of them are, you sit and read cover to cover. Well, sorry, I just knocked you. Actually, Benedict did with the politics book. He just sat there and read it. And I was like, oh, that's some concentration you've got there, sweetheart. Um, and he was saying the other day, when I was talking to him about it, he said, oh, I must go and have a look into it again. But um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you those books because I've got those in and I'm, I'm really pleased with those. So let me tell you about this. So I thought, I was watching a video and somebody was doing a cherries haul and they had a code and it was Brummy Mummy of Two who I really, really like as a kind of vlogger and she's really, um, she's very down to earth and she just chats about her life and I... I think she does some really powerful things about body positivity, not just body positivity, but about self-acceptance and champions embracing who you are. And I admire that tremendously. Um, she's in her, she's mid 40, so she's she is younger than myself, not by March, but she is a bit younger than me. So I would say that she's on the beginning of her journey of becoming a menopause woman. So I think that's quite fascinating as well. So you do tend to watch people that are going through similar things as yourself, do you not? Do you not? So I really like her. If you know of a vlogger that you really like who is similar, then please leave it down below in the comments because I'd like to read that. Anyway, so she had a Cherries haul. She was obviously sponsored by Cherries. I am not. And she had a code for 25% off as a first time buyer of Cherries. Now, Cherries is an app and you scroll through it and it's household essentials. So it's things like storage, like mini, you know, not, not, not like wardrobes, like kind of Tupperware and household storage. And then it's um, household essentials. So it's kitchen or bathroom or cleaning or organising. Um, and then there's grocery, but it's not like fruits and veg. It's more crisps and sweets and chocolate that kind of thing so it is it's kind of I gather they must you know buy so many and it's all reduced and then I had a code on top so I was like well this has got to be worth having a go and I thought I would buy some cleaning stuff and I would show you I mean this isn't all cleaning stuff <laughs> it is quite a large box <gasps> there we go quite a large box everyday essentials for less delivered that would have been easier if I just said that <laughs> I should have just said that. Anyway, so I ordered it. I was so excited. And I was like, yes, I've ordered this, I've ordered that. And, it, you know, I was really pleased what I ordered. And then it says, right, you know, oh, it's to, it's packed. It's on its way. It's a lovely email that says goodies are on its way. And I was like, oh, lovely. Very excited. Yep, the courier's got them. Yeah, I'm ready for it. And then the courier out for, for delivery. 
brilliant. I was at home that day, so I was like, right, I'm ready. Woohoo, I am ready for this. And then it said we're sending it back. Now, it never said why it was sending it back. It never tried to deliver it to our house. It just sent it back. So I was waiting then to get from Cherries or from the courier a reason why they decided to send it back. Was there a problem with the parcel? Was there a problem with the delivery person? Was there just a problem? No. So after a week, as it said, wait a week, and then after a week, I contacted Cherries and went, hmm, that's annoying. First time customer, not, not happy. This If this is the way it works and won't be using you again, please give me a refund. And they went, no, 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 this is not how it happens. We can give you a full refund, that's absolutely fine, we'll do that straight away. Or we could send it out, like ASAP to you. And I was like, okay, go on, send it out ASAP. And they did. So that was Wednesday and it was here, Friday lunchtime. So that wasn't bad, it was Wednesday afternoon as well. And by Friday lunchtime, it was here. So I was like, see, it wasn't that difficult, was it? And I have not opened it. So I've it opened. But I haven't actually been in it. And because I ordered it two weeks ago, I can't remember what's in here. So it's doubly exciting. Because not only am I opening it with you, you lovely folks. Actually, will actually become in useful that paper, so I'm okay with that. Marvellous. So not only am I opening it with you, and you don't know what I've got, I can't remember either. I did order, it's going to look like a lot of stuff, I did order stuff to go in our storeroom for the summer holidays. So the lad breaks up next Thursday, it's currently Saturday, so this Thursday he's got four more days of school, well three and a half because they break up at lunchtime. Um, and then it's summer holiday. Woohoo! School's out for summer. Showing my age. School's out for summer. So that will be Thursday. Um, and then I break up for our summer holidays, which is April, like that. I break up on the Friday. So it's an exciting week, and then we're away, actually. So I bought some stuff that either will take it away on holiday, or I will put it in the storeroom, and it will it will stay and I will bring it out as and when. Um, so I'm pleased with that, so I'm pleased with it. So I have, here we are, so I have some Monster Munch, roast beef flavour, packets that open. Um, so yes, that's six, I'm just checking the expiry date to be honest, to make sure it's not, yep, yeah, so that's So that's six roast beef flavours, brilliant. No, they don't feel squished either. They were at the top. Borkers cheese and onion. I'm not the only one in the family that eats those, but the lad doesn't eat them. This is going to be tricky because you're resting on something that's really big. Never mind. Mini cheddar packets of big. So that looks quite a lot of stuff, but we that will I will put some of it away. I also bought. I'm going to just do the food first because it's on top. I bought some crunchies. So these were all reduced. And I think this was a pound for a pack of four crunchies. And um, I got 25% off. And free delivery. I got to mention that. So that's 75p for a pack of four. You cannot beat that. I think most of these things were, were a pound and then reduced. My lad's favourite chocolate... M &M &M. Um, who doesn't like a lovely bit of dairy milk? We went to Cadbury World at half term, and these are made by Cadbury's, so those will go down well. I will be putting those in the fridge. We made a foolish mistake and put them in the storeroom, and then they all melted. Um, have I got any more food? Oh, yes, I got two packets of those. So I will put these away, actually, so that the lad doesn't know that they're there, and then I can produce them at moments. <gasps> oh, I'd forgotten I got this. Ritter Sport Corn Flakes. I haven't had that for years, that variety. You never see it. Does anybody else like Ritter Sport? Oh, we love Ritter Sport in this 
of this family. But just yum. I've not had Ritter Sport before. They're chocolate and they come in all different flavours. This has got corn flakes in. So that is that is the edibles so I'm going to move them all to one side so it was three lots of crisps I should know I should have looked at how much everything's cost I'm sure majority of these were a pound and then I got uh, things and then so I've got some chocolate which I probably will have to put in the fridge and hide but yeah that's what I got that those are for oh look at this those are for days in the future here we go here we go cleaning stuff this is when i get excited yes cleaning woohoo do i need to get out more <laughs> do i need to get out more i suddenly thought did you see how excited i got for my cleaning products then oh i don't care right this is a duster on a stick it's probably got a bit of a better turn than that, but I got that. I, oh, yes, I got that for my bookshelves. I thought I need to get duster on the stick because, especially at this moment, it's working a little treat, actually. I'm just moving stuff off and having a dust while I'm talking to you. Now, don't you feel like you're actually with me? I just need to go and get you a little drink and then, yeah. So, because it's so hot at the moment, we are having every window open. Can't have the door open at the moment because the cat, one of our cats is having to stay in because she had a fight or a... There's a doorbell. The husband will go. Actually, I think that's for me. It doesn't matter. Um, so, we're having, she had a fight or something on the side of her neck. I didn't realise it. I saw that it was a bit funny, but she wouldn't let me look at it. And now I know the reason why. It's obviously because it was, it was a scratch. It was painful. It went into a wound. She never let me go anywhere near it. She was like, fine for me to go and play all that here. But she wouldn't let me kind of go there. She showed no distress, so I didn't know that there was a problem. Until I heard a cat cry you know, kind of scream cry. And then she came in, she was absolutely fine. But then on the side of her face, inside of her neck behind her ear, the fur had pulled away and she had this, just this raw wound. It looked horrific and like skin hanging. 10 o'clock at night. So luckily I wasn't working the next day. That was last this week. I've been to the vets with her twice. It's been a whole thing. So we think there was an abscess in there as well. And oh, it was gross. Anyway, she can't go out because it's it's healing. But heat, flies, raw neck. So she's in. So we haven't got the doors open. We've got every window possibly open. And it's dusty. So everywhere is getting dustier than normal. And I decided I needed a duster on the stick. And it is already great. I'm already happy with this. This will be brilliant. I've got these, they're kind of like, are they microfiber? I've got these, what is 100% polyester, as a mitt. And so you can, you use a mitt to do it, put your hand in it, use it as a mitt. But I wanted one on a stick. And now I've got one on a stick. Put my dinosaur back. Who are you if you don't have dinosaurs on your uh, book shelves? I ask you that. So yeah, brilliant. First thing first cleaning product I don't I do get wipes I do also have cloths and sprays and I go from one way I go from one to another if I've got the time I do like cloths and sprays but there are times when it's time is of the essence I need to clean something it's not going to happen if I'm getting cloths and sprays out and doing that sometimes I just need to wipe things clean and I do use wipes Bathroom wipes I find really handy. I just keep them upstairs in the bathroom in a cheeky little um, cupboard box with spare toilet rolls, um, toilet bleach, and if I can pop some wipes in there, jobs are good. For example, say somebody decides to give themselves a shave and it's not perfectly cleaned afterwards, well then you can do a little 
Better or white for the kitchen. Actually, I might put those in the downstairs toilet. Because I've got another one for the kitchen. Look at that! Your gal is... These will last me for ages. So I've got bathroom whites will go upstairs. Downstairs toilet, kitchen. Oh, yes! Talking about cloths. I saw these. Now, Emma, Brummy Mummy of Two, she said some pe like people don't like these or they do like these. I've never heard. I have seen them and she swears by them. Great for cleaning baths, showers, tiles and sinks, buffs and chimes. Anything that says buffs on it. Who doesn't want to buy it immediately? It buffs, it shines. Do myself. Uh, stainless steel, chrome, mirrors, and book tubers. That's what it should say. So let's take that out. It's, it's non-scratch technology. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to argue. <gasps> oh, smooth. Smooth. So obviously one side and then another side. Uh, there probably are instructions. Yes, there are. The end cloth... Uh, antibacterial bathroom cleaning pad is dual sided for effective powerful cleaning in the bathroom I say dual sided the non scratch zigzags we are learning together the non scratch zigzags remove stagnant grime and extra long fibres clean hard to reach areas whilst retaining the smell of your favourite cleaning fragrances for longer I have no idea how they do that that sounds magic the textured microfiber backing buffs and shines. There is that word again. Stainless steel, chrome, mirrors, and book tubers for a gleaming bathroom finish. Lovely. Each pad is treated with a long lasting antibacterial protection, preventing the growth of bacteria on the pad. Well, that's a good thing, isn't it? Use wet or dry. Brilliant. Safer environment. No need for chemicals. I say. I am loving this. So let's try this one. They do them for kind of kitchens as well. Let's go for this for the bathroom. My bathroom is going to be a joy to be in. It's going to be buffed, cleaned, shined. I've got things. I've got things in there. What do we think that is? Let's hold the thing up. Right, so I've got another one of these. I've got this for the kitchen because the kitchen plugs a bit of a... I'm not sure about that. So I've got a sink, strainer and plug. Protect strains. So it's a two-piece. So I think I'm going to put that... That's going to be in the kitchen because I do think we need a new plug. Astonish. It's vegan. That's good. Vegan surface cleanser. It's a cleanser. It's not even a cleaner, it's a cleanser. Antibacterial surface cleanser. Okay. Uh, kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. Love it. Pomegranate and raspberry. I want to drink it. I'm not going to. I mean, a special aromatic addition. No bleach, no dye, pH neutral. So there we go. I've got that. So that's what I mean. I do like a nice cleanser i always thought they were cleaners but no it's a cleanser i've got another thing here oh yes um i saw somebody talking about this lenore crease releaser removes creases in fabric and i thought that would be very handy because i'm not always that that keen on ironing and obviously you've got to iron everything but there are some dresses and everything um it's a perfect combination of Lenore fragrance that removes creases without the hassle of ironing. That sounds magic again. Spray, pull and smooth, hang. There we go. Do myself as well. You can spray me, pull and smooth me, and then you can hang me up and I'm having a go. There you go. So I'm going to give that a go. I'll report back. Should you be interested? Are you enjoying this? I'm enjoying this. Even if only two people watch this and they too enjoy it, then jobs are good as far as I'm concerned. Do you like these kind of things? 
<laughs> and my obsession because everybody does seem to like me talking about washing so I thought you might as well you might like me talking about bleach <laughs> uh, thick bleach citrus bird it's just it's just a, a bleach I have actually oh I really did so we have a bathroom upstairs and we have a toilet downstairs there we go no need to actually take them out and then I've got a third I don't know why I did that that may have just been overexcitement. I'm going to put these back in while I'm. I can't. I can't tell you the prices of this. Now, when you've seen all of this, I'll have a look on the old phone, which I've got next to me, and tell you what the overall cost was. Again, for the bathroom, this is for myself. Um, woman of an age. What do you need? Need magnesium. Help with magnesium for the restless legs, which I do suffer from. The old twitching legs. It's mainly my legs that are affected. I was really affected when I was pregnant, horrifically affected, and magnesium was the way forward for me, and that stopped it. And I do love these Epsom salts, which I have in my bath. And when it's hot, like it is at the moment, I do love a cool bath, which I did have not too, not too long ago, and it does cool me right down cools down the core and um, I got some cling film we don't use a lot of cling film this will last me months but we did need some and the husband when I told him about it did say is it decent cling film or is it cling film that's going to irritate me and I bought decent cling film um, only it says only £1.99 I think it was cheaper than that my friends my favourite uh, bath soak. Do you know, you're learning about me. This is my favourite bath soak. Moonlit skies and white cashmere. I just, this just relaxes me, this smell. Oh. You know, everybody's got smells that, that relax them. Everything's got smells that kind of take them to a certain place because it's the, the um, where our brain processes smells is in the ancient part of the brain it's right in the, the center in the near the brain stem it's the kind of ancient old part of the brain and it's a really primal experience smelling it's why one of those things that when you lose your sense of smell is so impactful because it also affects your taste but it also it's that connection to all one of the things that if you find going off on a tangent but if you ever experience moments of anxiety one of the ways to do it is to actually, uh, one of the ways that you can affect that moment um, is to try and trigger your sense of smell and focus on what you can smell at that time because it brings you into the present, it brings you into the moment um, and anxiety it takes you out of yourself, it takes you out of the moment it takes you away from your physical sensation or the pleasant physical sensations you get the heart racing you get the, the shortness of breath you get the lightheadedness you get the overwhelming anxious feelings and actually coming back to the body sensations is a way of experience of, of easing anxious moments and the sense of smell is brilliant for that kind of thing so we all have we all react to people's perfumes for example and Yes, oh, I had a bath earlier. I didn't actually use this one. I used a, a one for with, that had salt in it again because I do like that for calming my skin down when it's hot. Here we go. How long have I been going on? Oh, this is going to be a long one. It's going to be a long one. Oh, I am bathroom crazy. I have got some. Um, soft silk shaving gel yes sweetheart that's cats meowing at me i shall let you in in a moment i'm just doing this so that's for should i want to shave my legs doesn't always happen but it can do now and i've got another one <laughs> it's super exciting oh for my son He's 14. I should be giving him this. Here you are, love. It's not a suggestion, it's a command. <laughs> there we go. You know, hormones. It says 48 hours powerful protection. I'll be happy with an hour. What can I say? 
Um, I got some other deodorant. I got this deodorant for the husband. They had an offer on it. It was really cheap. Um, so I got three for the husband. That keeps that going. Put that in our bathroom cabinet. It's not in our bathroom because we don't have enough room for it. And I got myself a little rowing. So there we go. So we're all going to be smelling fresh. I'm going to be smooth skin and relaxed not twitchy because i'm going to be using that in my super clean bathroom which i have will have cleaned using the wipes i am thrilled there we go there we go friends did get some food the majority of that i got is cleaning products duster on the stick majority of it was cleaning products let's see i've got a cat like that through the window at me looks annoyed yeah i can hear you i can hear you that's my order does it say how much it was no i did order something else but they gave me a refund because it's now no longer available and that was I think for a chocolate thing cherries here we go no it's not that one I've got your order we've got it here we go so I can give you a quick very quick rundown of the cost so this um, sink, strainer and plug that was £1.50 cling film was a pound not £1.69 it was a pound Astonish was 95p 95p that seems very reasonable the bleach for three was £1.65 that's also very good is it three times £1.65 I think so no, I think three were £1.65. The two these, they, that was a pound each. The Green Shield antibacterial, do we think I, oh, that's the bathroom wipes. That was a pound. My grey microfiber, microfiber noodle duster, duster on the stick, was two pounds fifty two pounds fifty i was a bit pushing the boat out for that a little bit as was my minky antibacterial two pound fifty however it does sound like it's gonna buff and shine everything that's inside the lenore crease releaser was two pounds fifty as well the packets of crisps were either 120 or 150 the thing for my son to stop him reeking was £1.50 the roll-ons were a pound the bath salts were a pound shaving gel was a pound chocolate was all a pound yeah it was all a pound so um, it came to £34.58 and then with the discount off, so the discount was £8.64. That's good, isn't it? Delivery was free. So the whole thing was £25, just under £26. That, I think, friends, is a bargain. Look at that. So this was Cherries. It's the web, it's a app. Would I recommend it? From the joy I've got of getting that box, yes. I'm not going to be using it every week. I will be with you in one second. The cat has now moved from that and is now staring at me through the kitchen door. Because, of course, we've got it locked because of the other cat. Um, the joy of this has been something, but I do not need any more cleaning products for the time being. <laughs> need and want are very different things, but I don't need it. So I won't be doing this for a while. But did you enjoy it? I certainly did. I don't care if you didn't. Well, I do care if you didn't. I hope you did. I hope you enjoyed what seeing what I'm going to be using. My Astonish. It's vegan. It's pomegranate and raspberry. I am going to have to do that thing where I have to try and smell it. Uh, no, I'm not. I now just I'm not going to be able to use it. So let's not do that. I'll, I'll report back, friends. There we go. That was great. Let's do this again. Bye.